Hi folks, I'm Brad Ketai from QuickTech. We're going to talk about the importance of inflation. It's really where everything comes together as far as keeping your tube in good shape and not having to worry about warranty and shelf life getting much shorter because you're towing underinflated or overinflated. So the key is to know how much to inflate a tube and what to do so that you align the tube properly. I'm going to start by showing you that when you pick up a tube, especially a deck tube like this, this is a sports stuff stunt tube, you grab the valve and you shake the tube a couple of times to make sure that the bladder is lined up properly inside the nylon cover. Once you're confident that you've got it in position, you grab your pump, you seed your speed valve into position, and you start your pump. Remember, you've got a, a variety of different attachments to choose from. It's very evident the proper one because it fits right into the top of the speed valve. Once you get it placed inside, start your high-powered 3.0 or 2.5 PSI pump, and before you know it, you're going to have a full firm pump. Okay, back with you. Now that I've got the tube inflated, let's talk about the firmness that the tube needs to be. For starters, what you need to understand is when you take a tube and you put it on cold water, the air inside of it is going to contract. And what was once a tube that you thought you filled up enough is no longer near as firm as you expected. So put, pump your tube up very firm. The way to test it once you get it inflated, stand on top of it, and it should slightly depress. I mean slightly, because you'll see how that changes once it gets on the cold water. Okay, so now you've got a quick lesson on inflation. And remember, towing a, a filled up tube is super important. If you don't fill it up enough, you're not going to get the life out of the tube that you expected. Thanks a lot, guys. Have fun on the water.